A dashboard is one of the important things that will flow out of your sales funnel or your sales pipeline. We talked in depth about what the pipeline is in other videos. Uh, the dashboard is a super important concept for most companies. Remember quickly the pipeline has to do with a, a, a prospect starting at the top, not, you're not knowing who they are, and moving down through your sales process until you close that prospect and charge them uh, for your services. And there are ratios associated with moving from one level to another that show how good or bad you are uh, at advancing people through these levels. And quickly, what we are saying here is this is how I define each of these levels. Um, I'll explain them very quickly. Pre-qualified means I haven't spoken to them at all. Um, qualified means that I have had initial contact with them. Defined might mean that I've had meetings and they've told me what kind of products they would like. Develop means I've met all the key people, I've had presentations, I know all the decision makers. Selected means that they've approved it and they want to go forward. And closed means I've actually signed a contract. So those are the sort of uh, very basic and generalized levels that we're looking at in our sales pipeline. And so what is the dashboard? Um, the dashboard flow is one of the things that flows from the pipeline. And here I've made a very, very simple example of a company dashboard that we can look at. Um, essentially, I'm using this dashboard to give me a global view of what's happening inside my company. So anytime someone says, how are sales? How's the sales process? I can look at this and say one of two things. I can give them a point in time view, so sort of like a balance sheet that says, here's how many companies we're talking to and at what stage. I can also use those, if I look at those series of those points in time, from month to month or week to week, I can look at trending. Uh, what, what am I getting good at or bad at? Where am I struggling? How am I progressing? Um, and then I can use that trending to do uh, projections and reporting. I can say to my bosses, I feel with a very high probability that we will do X number of sales in the future because I'm getting good at uh, watching these numbers over time. So let's look at this dashboard. Up here we have month one, month two, month three, and month four over time. Pre-qualified, qualified, defined, developed, selected, closed, they paid you. Those are the levels. So let's look at the first month. We've got 2,000 people pre-qualified. 100 of them, if you remember, have had initial contact. Uh, 40 of them have had a presentation or some discussion. 25, I know exactly who they are. I know the decision maker, makers are. I've talked to all of them. Five said, we want to do this, selected it. Four actually signed a contract and got it done. And three paid us. Uh, so what that tells me is I've got these ratios that I'm things I'm good at and bad at. And if you look over at these ratios, you know I've got I've only spoken to five percent of my market, uh, but forty percent of those people wanted to continue learning more about the process and got a meeting. And then I was real good. I was at sixty-three percent, um, allowed me to come back and meet all the key decision makers and talk uh, and go through the process. But then I dropped down here. I was only twenty percent at converting the folks who I was. Uh, really involved with into a selected opportunity and even then I lost 20% more of those uh, in signing a contract. So I know sort of what I'm good at and what I'm bad at uh, just on a single monthly basis I can say I'm pretty good here, I'm not so good here. And you'll, you'll notice over here what the difference between these things tells me. You know the difference between pre-qualified have I spoken to you at all and qualified you've had a conversation is how many outgoing calls am I making? Are my sales guys going out and doing their jobs? You know what does it mean to go from define to develop that I've had my first meeting but now I've met all the key decision makers? Am I good at getting meetings and getting into my uh, 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 clients? That's what that could tell me. What happens when I go from yeah we've looked at this thing and we like it to we want to buy it from you? Um, that's really am I good at closing? Am I good at saying, hey, are you going to make this decision or not? And then after I'm good at closing, there's a second section, which is uh, how good am I at collecting? You know, after I've closed the deal and signed a contract, do they pay me? That has to do with accounts receivable. So you can see how I use these ratios on a single month to diagnose what I'm good at or bad at. That's the whole point. So now let's look at trending over time on the dashboard. So I've got month number one. Now how does it change to month number two? I go from 2,000 and 100 meetings or discussions to I still have 2,000 out there, but now I've got 150 meetings. So I'm getting better at uh, contacting people. I'm making a lot of calls. My, my sales guys are more aggressive. So now, But now I've got problems here. I talk to more people. That's not necessarily great because 
fewer of them really invited me back to do a more in-depth uh, discussion or meeting, and even fewer went to the point where they let me meet their key decision makers. But that's okay. I still closed. I still had four commitments, and I closed three deals. So even though my output is pretty similar here, um, something's going on here. Maybe I'm finding the wrong people if I'm not being invited back for meetings. So maybe my lead gen isn't very good. Hopefully, you're kind of getting the hang of how this works uh, from you know how the dashboard works. So let's look at month number three. Uh oh, here's a problem. I went from 2,000 targets to 1,600. Maybe that's because I've already talked to a bunch of targets. This is sort of dangerous. If this continues, I get less and you know fewer and fewer targets. I may have no one to target in the future. So I'm going to have to solve that going forward. And now I generated 110. Uh, it wasn't 150, but we noticed that that wasn't necessarily more productive for me. Uh, now, after my 110, a lot of these guys want a meeting and want continued conversation. So well, this is really encouraging. It's the highest it's ever been. So I'm getting better at meetings. And then 30, the highest it's ever been at, at having uh, discussions with the key decision makers. Again, I'm, I'm getting much better at talking to the right people. And then how many of those uh, did I close? Well, now, of course, this makes sense. I'm cl I, instead of 25 and 5, I'm 30 and 7. So I'm getting a little better at converting to closures. And then, of course, uh, I dropped two of those contracts I had troubles with or we, didn't, we couldn't negotiate on them on a final price, so I only closed five, but five paid me. This was my best month. Uh, and then we look at the, this last month here, I'm up to 3,000. Maybe I went out and found a whole new vertical market or I have a whole new product offering. This makes me feel much better. Okay, we've got a lot more prospects. I'm, I'm not worried about that, but I'm not so great at converting them to meetings again. My, my outgoing calls uh, haven't been excellent. And then you can sort of look at these other ratios here um, you know, I, I did okay at getting uh, second meetings. Uh, I, did, I did actually very well here, not as well as last month at talking to the key decision makers. Uh, and then those flow through to sales and closures. So hopefully this gives you some idea of how a dashboard works. I'm looking at my funnel. I'm taking those ratios. I'm watching them in a given month to diagnose what I'm good at or bad at. And then I'm watching that trending over time. Uh, and that allows me to diagnose other things in my business. You know, I can, I can allocate resources according to what I need. Uh, one month it might be lead gen, another month we got to get better at closing. Uh, and other things flow out of this as well that we'll talk about in a separate video, like your sales collateral that you're going to use, uh, and other pieces um, that you're going to use to help, uh, you know, like ERP systems or uh, customer management systems. So, important concept, dashboard really helps you say how much you're going to close each month, uh, diagnose where things are going good and bad uh, and tell what your sales team is good at uh, and what they're not so good at.